Well, the shared mobility trend is on its way to downtown Waco. The city Council just signed a contract with a company that will provide bikes and scooters the public can use. Channel 6's Jasmine Caldwell is live in Waco. She spoke to the city today about what they plan to do to prevent a bike sharing mess like people saw in larger cities like Dallas and Austin. Hey, Jasmine. Well, hey, Chris and Leslie, the highly anticipated bikes and scooters will roll into downtown Waco next month. And while there are some who are excited, there are others who are nervous about what they will look like. The city of Waco officially gave the thumbs up for bike and scooters to invade downtown by signing a one year pilot program with Gotcha Bikes LLC. Since Early this year when the RFP process closed, we've been working with Gotcha Bike to come up with a framework for what that pilot program would look like. Unlike bigger cities like Dallas and Austin, Waco is hoping to cut back on customers leaving bikes laying around downtown by ordering a smaller fleet size. Only 50 bikes and 50 scooters will be available to rent. So a total of 100 devices because it is a pilot program and we have a small um, geographic area. So the program is going to be focused in downtown Elm Avenue, uptown in some areas along the river walks. To make things easier for the growing number of riders, the Metropolitan Planning Committee is asking the community for their input in improving pedestrian and biking conditions. We've identified 17 different strategies, everything from bike lanes to new sidewalks to um, separate bicycle pedestrian paths. There will be parking requirements for scooters and bikes at mobility hubs such as bike racks or geofenced parking areas. If someone decides to not follow those rules and park it outside of those approved parking areas, there will be a small fine that they would receive um, for doing so. So hopefully they wouldn't. As for safety measures, the state of Texas doesn't require a helmet on bikes or scooters, and neither does the city of Waco. But wearing a helmet is a policy when using gotcha bikes and scooters and right now how that policy will be enforced is still up for discussion between the city the police department and the scooter company Now, it's also worth pointing out that the bikes and scooters won't be allowed on the sidewalks, only on shared use paths. Now, this will also, will also bring jobs to the area. Gotcha LLC will hire full and part time employees to monitor the rentals. Reporting live in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right. Thanks, Jasmine.